Hi, and welcome to another overview of my new vehicle. And this project, I created another tank, and it's a main battle tank that I call Panther, but uh, actually it's a model of another famous tank that I really, really like. And actually, this was my, I think, my first model that I did for a, for a Quake 3 project back in, in the years. So I decided to re recreate it in Unreal. And yeah, so this is a brand new tank. And I will now showcase uh, some cool stuff and what this project can do. So, oh, sorry. Yeah, so just like uh, before, you can enter the vehicle. And we have a force sound. Engine tracks and all of that good stuff. So yeah, let's take it for a spin. We have a poly dynamic tracks and all of this was done without the plugins, uh, without any plugins. So it's a fully, fully dyna dynamic tank threads. Of course, we have a thermal camera. And yeah, let's just drive it. We have our working lights. Front lights, back lights, and reverse lights. Now let's take it to the shooting range now let's uh, test the machine guns so we have a mountain triple caliber gun and of course we have a Box cell gun. And we have a first main gun. We have uh, some physics applying to the tank, so it, uh, it's more realistic and uh, dynamic. Let's destroy some of the targets and we have a zoom in and zoom in out. So let's take another look at the other versions of the tank. Of course, we have a desert camouflage of the tank, and of course we have a the reactive armor added on the tank. And actually, let's take this one. 
So those armors are fully working. So let's position it here. And now let's hop in in a, a woolen version. And yeah, okay. Shoot the armor now, it's gone. And we can of course damage it then. And we have a some unexpected physics. I will pick that down. I don't know why. Up, up. Oh, I don't know why it behaved like that. I will pick the physics down. But yeah, we have a wreck of the vehicle uh, that is fully dynamic. And of course, it can rotate, and after some time, it will disappear like other my vehicles. And of course, we have a smoke screen. There is no tank without the smoke screen. And this this particular blueprint I made it so that it cannot get stuck anywhere. You 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 can get stuck. If you can go forward or or backward you can always turn in place no matter uh, no matter what obstacles are there, uh, but of course, uh, uh, as long as you are on the ground or touching the ground. So yeah, you can any, uh, pretty much go anywhere on any, any terrain. So I don't know, for me that is uh, pretty important for the tank. And if you by any chance uh, find slope that you cannot traverse, you can engage the turbo. And that will uh, actually add some additional horsepower to the engine. And after some time, it will uh, actually uh, bring it back to the original state. I really, really like this this line of the tanks. So, so slick uh, German, really. We really can do their things. Now, let's uh, take a blueprint itself. Of course, just like on my previous projects, everything is contained in the blueprint. You can add a RPG armor just by clicking this button. And actually, you can change this. Uh, you can change the health of the armor. By default, uh, it's a twenty percent or twenty units. So it basically can take uh, one shot from the tanks or a couple of shots from the APC. But I forgot to mention, if you hit the turret of the of the tank, no matter if uh, armor is applied, the tank will take a damage. Uh, Armor will only absorb the damage if actually it's hit. So yeah, you can use RPG armor, use lights if you want to start the lights on. Use a vehicle without the character. If you want to auto-possess this vehicle from the get-go of the level, just tweak this checkbox and start your blueprints with a with auto possess and everything will work, engine, sound, particles, everything. Of course, using vert pitch, a highly requested feature, so that you can vert the pitch of the gun. Uh, use replenish ammo. Actually, uh, um, there is a clip size for for the for the gun, and you can tweak it here. By default, it's six six shells. And after some time, it will replenish those six six shells. But if you want to use a, like a, a Bedfield five style replenishing, that you need a replenish station. Just tweak this off, and when you hit the six shells, you will not have more, and need to run to the base to replenish. Uh, use MG camera. Uh, this is a, if you want to use this MG or not. 
for example if you don't want to use it just pick it off for now uh, max uh, main gun clip size at default six six uh, this is a turret gun overheat this is actually the coaxial gun uh, how much uh, bullets can you fire before it overheats we can tweak that here and what else uh, secondary gun uh, that is uh, excuse me the secondary the trailer gun is a, a 50 cal and secondary is a coaxial gun but uh, the tweaks are the same of course you can tweak the health of the tank now it's a 100 refresh rate uh, it's uh, how many uh, units are added to help if uh, the tank is the uh, if tank is starting to replenish the health health refresh cooldown this is uh, timer if a tank is hit uh, for example the shell or any damage it will uh, start replenishing health after eight seconds so you need to wait eight seconds before uh, every second uh it adds to health back uh, until it's uh, fully uh, healed of course if you want to disable that you can put it on a really high or a pretty high value like i don't know 24 hours uh, use health widget that is if you don't want to see this health widget in the game and uh health armor left health armor right that is actually for these rpg armors so yeah guys uh, this was a short video i uh, tried to keep it short uh, but somehow it always get uh, i don't know 20 minutes and uh, what i forget to mention under my videos that i actually include the static meshes for the for the vehicles so you can use it in your level i know like a stop prop this is the tank with uh, actually high versions of the track so it's a more detailed track than this this one so yeah you can uh, use it like a uh, you know hero prop or prop in your level and actually i included uh, also the version with a uh, low version of the track so you can use that i always include the uh, static meshes not just a skeletal mesh and if you uh, look at the blueprint it loads uh, my computer is due to replacement everything is uh, labeled so you can actually as long as you follow the skinning process of my tanks tank or my vehicles you can actually reuse these blueprints for your any trapped vehicles everything is labeled and i try to keep it clean for example the greens are inputs reds are uh, tick events and these uh, brown yellows are damages this is uh, actually uh, for reposes Posing uh, vehicles and characters, and blue is for uh, starting vehicles. And uh, I keep a uh, white, white, uh, uh, white uh, squares for anything else. Uh, also, I provide a demo for this vehicle, so you can try it for yourself. And the links are in the description or in the marketplace page so you can visit and hopefully give me some five stars that, that would be very very appreciated and some other questions no guys i don't work for squad or uh, world war three i that i get that a lot i love squad and world war three uh, but I don't work for them or by any chance use their models. So all models are created by me and I uh, take uh, great pride in creating them and bringing them to you guys. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for your support and purchase and hope you enjoyed another tank from me. And actually I'm working on another vehicle. 
and this time it's another helicopter so yeah I think that I will start uh, texturing it soon so I know in a couple of weeks uh, I will be ready for another vehicle but actually I don't uh, make uh, those this kind of video until Epic approve all my work so actually this tank was ready a month ago but uh, it, uh, it took uh, 30, 30 days or a month to go to the Epic Games uh, publishing store until everything is fixed errors and some other stuff so yeah this was tank uh, uh, ready a month ago but just now I'm releasing the video so you can use it and download right now uh, so yeah guys thank you thank you very much and see you soon